Hello and welcome to the journal class. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Bookbolt to generate low content journals. And then I'm going to show you how you can um, use KDP cover calculator to find out the correct dimensions for your cover, how to create the cover. And then in the next video, I will show you how you can publish your book. So here I am on bookbolt.io. I will go to the resources um, section and type, excuse me, click on interior wizard. Um, here you can see there's like affiliate login, blog, typing. You can log in. I have not logged in. So I am just on football and it's a start for free. I'm going into wizard, or excuse me, resources and clicking on interior wizard. All right, so now we are in the generator section. As you can see, it has like a whole bunch, like there's blank pages, college rules, blind pages, there's monthly to-do list. Some things do say that there's a member login required, but we're not focusing on that. If you wanted to do a member login, um, and if you wanted to do the page description, you can, but we're not worrying about that. So here, in interior generator, we're going to select no lead. In paperback, we're going to go down to 8.5 by 11 inches. And the page count, I'm going to do 100. And let's say I want like the journal lined pages. So now I'm going to hit download. And now we have our line page, our journal, it has 100 pages. So now we are going to go to KDP cover calculator. I literally just Googled KDP cover calculator and the first thing that pops up is what I click. Now here it says a lot of different things that you would need to plug in to enter your book information. So we're going to select for binding type, we're going to select paperback. Interior type will be black and white. Paper type is going to be white. And page turn direction is left to right. Our measurement units are inches. And the trim size is going to be the 8.5 by 11 inches that we selected. And now we are going to type in 100 for the page count. Now I want to calculate the dimension. And now you can see there is a wonderful template that you can download. I oftentimes don't download it because I'm just going to create the full cover in Canva. So what I want is the dimensions for the full cover. Here's the front cover, um, the bleed, margin, spine, all that good stuff. I just want the front, the full cover width and height. So here it says 17.475. I'm going into Canva and I'm going to type in seven. Before I type anything in, I'm going to change the e pixel section to inches and then I'm going to type in 17.475 and then 11.475. Five inches, and I'm going to create the design. And now we have this kind of like blank canvas. This section would be your front cover. This section would be your back cover. But I want to separate it while I am designing. So I'm just going into my element section here where it says lines and shapes. I'm just going to click the solid line. And now I want to rotate this. To the 90 degree angle.
And now that I have the line all over the spine of the page, I'm going to click position and center. It says that it is centered. So now what I want to do is kind of um, decorate my front cover. I like to get most of my clip art from Creative Fabrica, but you can also get your clip art from Etsy. I have the subscription for uh, Creative Fabrica, so I am getting unlimited downloads. But anyways, let me go back to my Canva, and I am going to type in Now I can use the um, background and element section, or sometimes I even go into the background section of Canva and I try to type in some um, colors or words that I would think some fascinating backgrounds will pop up. So I am going to use this burgundy, and as you can see, it is now filled the page. And now I want to find something to add. Let me add my clip art. You can go. All right. Now I want to use the lady that is wearing a cream sweater. And as you can see, her legs are cut off, so I want to position her to where the cut off part does not show. Let me change my line to white so I can see it better. All right. And then I am going to maybe look for some gold. Now I like to keep maybe a half an inch away from the edge of my page just to try to keep in mind for the margin lines. I don't want anything being cut off when it is printed um, or published in Amazon. All right, so now we have our little corners. We have our lady, and I'm going to type this, title this as maybe the writer. Now, of course, you can add this up here. I actually like to turn my title um, horizontal and kind of let it fit the lady, the lady's height. Of course, keep it in mind, you don't want anything cut off 
So since the lady's um, legs are already cut off, I really don't care if she's at the bottom of the page, but I don't want my word daily planner to be cut off. So that is what our simple little cover is going to look like. And then I can go to download and I want to change this as PDF prints because on Amazon, they want your cover and your interior to be a PDF file that you upload. So let me just add another page so I can show you how to create a second, a second um, title cover for maybe a different planner that you create. But I'm just going to show you in this same video. So I do want my fine line. To be at 90 degrees and then I'm going to maximize it and stretch it out to so the page and I want to make sure it is centered and now let's type in or let me actually show you how I create one of my lighter color covers so I'm going to type in Let's see. All right, so I have selected my yellow wall that I use, and I'm going to replace the entire background. And here is the spine. Now, what I do sometimes is I use the, uh, the ladies that come with Canva. Let me just type it. All right, so these are the ladies that come with Canva. Let me select on the three dots. You can go to free for Canva Pro and select the I, and it'll tell you everything about the commercial license. It says, do not sell or redistribute or take credit for any unaltered media, meaning if I was to sell this specific lady by itself um, without her being unaltered, then I will get in trouble for it. But you always want to make sure that you are, when you're using the clip art, you are using it in a design and you are altering the clip art before you use it. So I am just going to find some ladies that I want to use. And as you can see, I selected this lady and I can change the colors of her lip. I can change um, her head wrap colors. Now I'm going to select graphic. Um, let's see. Now at this point, it just comes with like what you want to design, what you want to add to your page. And it can be very therapeutic. I can sit and design a multiple covers. I watching TV. I can. Um, it's very therapeutic. Okay, so I am going to click on a lady. I'm actually looking for some ladies that I had used before. So what I'm just going to do is go into my recent reviews. And I'm just going to find the lady that I was meeting. All right. So I am going to minimize this lady. Maybe I can delete her and just use the lady that I had used with my previous cover. So I want to minimize them so they can fit the feed but I don't want to cut off their body. 
it's all about placement at this point. So I want to fit three wings on the feet. All right, and one more wing. All right, so now what I want to do is change the colors around. I want to maybe change the color of her head wrap. And then I also want to make her a little bit darker. And then I am also going to change the lady in the red head wrap. And now hands are being a little bit fuzzy. All right, so I also want to change her head wrap color. I'm probably going to do gray. Yeah, that's cool. And then I am going to, I can change her earring color to red. And now I want to add some text. So I am going to get the text box and I'm going to type in and then I'm going to get another text box and type in journal because I want them to be two different fonts. And now I want to find my big cursive font for journal. Um, a lot of my fonts I get from um, Creative Fabrica because they do give you commercial license fonts. I, I use the font, but I don't use it to sell my designs because they their fonts are only for personal use. All right, so now I have my cursive. Now I want to change the font for gratitude. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to know what fonts go well together. You can easily go to Pinterest and they have so many different people that will take their time out of their day and pair fonts. Well, I actually like the way that looks. So I'm going to maximize it a little. And then I'm going to add the journal like that. And I added a little bit of um, kind of a rustic element to my cover. You can keep it this way if you want it, but I'm going to touch in black paint splatter. And then you can see a whole bunch of different elements kind of pop up. I'm actually going to go back to what I was All right, so this is black. What I ended up doing was I maximized it to fit on my front page. Depending on where I wanted the 
rustic look. I changed the color to white and then I sent it to the back. Now what I did is I go to transparency and I put the transparency all the way down to maybe 36. I then duplicate the element. I go to my left hand side. I click flip. And depending on where I want my element to be, I then created like a rustic look on the wall. And this is my cover. So now I'm going to go to download, PDF print, and then I will hit download. And then the next video will show you how to publish on Amazon.